with the person back. Every martial arts coach I've ever had has suggested I put my hands up. Okay. There were some old you know blocks that we do against attacks, but we didn't start with our hands down, we start with our hands up. The hands up is an interference with something coming towards the head. For you guys, you must stay conscious. If you're knocked unconscious, you're as good as dead. You have the little death, that's what we call it. Okay, so you can't be knocked unconscious. Reaction time is horribly slow for most people, so having something in the way is really important. But we need to do this in a natural way when we talk to the other person. So we've got our hands up. Now we need to bend our knees, and I want you to open your toes a little bit. Grip the floor, okay? Now, everybody step to your right. Step to your left. Which one do you do better? How many of you didn't know which was your right from left? <laughs> looking at me, yeah, looking at me. The left-handers had a hard time, okay? What I want to do when I want to step is I simply want to remove the post that's holding me in place. I already have tension in my legs because I'm ready to go. Preparatory index is what we call this. I'm ready to go. Just like I'm getting ready to run a race, you don't start a race like this. Ready? Get set? Go. Because who are you going to be? Number eight. <laughs> it ain't a good place to be. So you get your legs ready. I want to move to the left. I simply remove the left leg and I can step out of the way. I want to move to the right. I simply remove the right leg and I can step to that position. Okay? Now, let's see if you're in balance. Everybody close your eyes. Okay, step left. And those of you that need to look at the L in your hand are having a hard time. I know. Step right. All right, where's your balance? Feel it. How many of you are leaning back? How many of you are leaning forward? That means you're committed to a direction. So let's get in a place. I don't suggest any particular stance. I just want you to be in a fighting stance. So usually that works out to be somewhere around shoulder wide, shoulder long. Maybe narrow, maybe long. Doesn't really matter. Okay? Last hundred years, karate stances went this to this because it was more important to the judges join, judging Kata. Uh, if you watch Funakoshi Sensei, who founded Shotokani, had really small stances. It looked like a boxer. hundred years later, we've got giant stances. It's one of them. Things change over time, and we don't know why. So bend your knees here, okay? Get ready to move. Now get your hands up. They're frames that go for a right angle. They give you a lot of support. This is the strongest position. The opposing muscles are equally balanced, bicep and tricep now. So if something comes in, we have a little ability to support it. If it's here, we have no time. If it's here, we have no control. Think about those words. No time, no control. Too far away, dominate, deflect is a lot easier. Too close, no time doesn't do us any good. In fact, people that hold their hands like this, what we like to do in class is punch them in the hand so they punch themselves in the face. <laughs> Just like the big brother thing, quit hitting yourself. <laughs> I didn't hit you, you did. All right. So hands go right here. Elbows come in and form this position. Good. Okay. Now, you're closest to one of two exits. On my command, run to the exit. Don't really run, but just turn like you're going to go. Ready? Go! Aha! <laughs> Closest exit. Where's the closest exit? The one we didn't use, right? You know why I know? Because I'm a rule breaker. <laughs> That's the one I want to go out. All right. Ever since I was this big, I couldn't really break the rule. All right. So look at that. Now, what did I have to do to turn around and leave? Turn my head and go. Later when we draw, turn your head and That's all you need to do is turn your head and go. So I want you to try that now. Just turn around and go the other way. What goes first? Just your head. Look where you want to go and follow. It's super simple. You need commitment to that. What always happens in horror movies when they turn around to run away? They always look back and they fall down. So what's the clue? Don't look back. All right. We're all smarter than those people until we're in the horror movie and they were like, no. Don't have your marital sex anymore. Don't have your marital sex anymore. All right. There you go. Right there on video, man. Okay. So. Now, what if cover is to the right of me and I need to get there really quick? Bullets are flying my way, all right? There's cover to the right of me. I 